probably one huge one, because a hundred small ones, they sort of can come at you from different angles. And I feel like the one huge one, you can at least bribe it or run from it or tell it a funny joke. But the 100 small ones, you just never know if that's gonna go sideways. Definitely mountains. They're fun to hike in, they hide lots, lots of cool stuff, and they don't have jellyfish hiding in them. I think fly. Better views, right? I would say board games. They're a little more fun and you can make up more ridiculous nonsense to go with them. <laughs> nap. Easily nap. <laughs> Napping is my favorite thing to do. <laughs> I would say zip lining. It's, it makes you kind of feel a little bit more like an action hero. New York. <laughs> Easily New York. I love I love the city. I love how dense it is, how old it is, how maze-like it is. It's, I just love New York. I'm a big dog person. It's always nice because when you first walk in the door, cats will just ignore you. Dogs will throw this huge parade the second they see you, and that's always very nice. I'm gonna say treehouse. Yeah, because then you can do all kinds of cool little like swings and things off of it. Always too cold because you can always put on more layers and you look cooler. If it's too hot, there's only so much you can do about that. X-Men, I don't really know why. <laughs> I really enjoy drawing a little bit more, I think. I love them both a lot for different reasons. Drawing is just, it's this great sort of meditative act of making marks on paper and getting to see this character or this world grow out of just these little ink lines. And I think it's a really exciting thing to see. Fairies, cause uh, more glitter. 